Yannick Sinner versus Francis Tiafo. It's the final of the Cincinnati Open for 2024. Both guys are battled to get to this stage. Tiafo entered the tournament unseeded and would take on David Trekina in the first round. And after a close second set, would get through in straights. 6 3 7 6. In the second round, he'd take on Musetti, the 14th seed, who just won a bronze medal at the Olympics. This is so easy for Tiafo getting through in straights. 6 3 6 2. In the third round, he'd take on Lehechka, who had just beaten Medvedev in the previous round. This is a battle. After splitting the first two sets, it went down to the wire, with Tiafo getting through in three. 6 4 6 7 7 6. In the quarterfinals, he'd take on Hercatch, the fifth seed, who'd been very impressive in his comeback from injury. But unfortunately, after Tiafo won the first set, Hercatch couldn't continue. Continue, handing Tiafo the retirement, 6-3 retirement, to advance to the semi-finals. In the semi-finals, Tiafo would take on Runa, the number 15 seed, who'd been having a really good week so far. And dropping the first set and saving match points in the third, would fly through to win, 4-6, 6-1, to advance to the final. Sinner entered the tournament as the number one seed, and we're going to buy in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on Mickelson, and after a close second set, would get through in straights, 6-4, 7-5. In the third round, he was supposed to play Jordan Thompson, who had beaten on Bear along the way, but unfortunately, Thompson was injured, handing Sinner the walkover. In the quarterfinals, Sinner would play Rublev, the number six seed, who he'd lost to last week in the same stage in Canada. And after dropping the first set, Sinner would fight back to win, 4 6 7 5 6 4, who advanced to the semi finals. In the semi finals, Sinner would take on Zverev, the number three seed, who had just battled past Shelton in the previous round. And after a lengthy rain delay and a close match to the end, Sinner would get through in three, 7 6 5 7 7 6, to advance to the final. These guys have played four times before, with Sinner leading 3 1 in the head-to-head, -head, including a match last year in Vienna where he won in straight sets. But they really haven't played that much in the last couple of years. 2021 was the only time that Tiafo got a win, and that was actually the second last time they played. So it's been a while since these guys played on an outdoor court. In fact, all their matches have been on indoor hard. So this is going to be interesting to see. And also the first match outside of Europe between these two. Take a look at the shot quality for the tournament thanks to Tennis Insights. Tiafo leads on the serve with an 8.2 compared to an 8.0 for Sinner. But Sinner leads on the returns with a 7.5 compared to a 6.8 for Tiafo. Sinner just leads on the forehand as well with a 7.8 compared to a 7.6. And the backhand also goes to Sinner with a 7.7 .7 compared to a 7.1 for Tiafo. So Tiafo is playing better than his average this year, but still not enough to overtake Sinner in any category but the serve. So the serve's going to be crucial for Big Foe if he's going to be any chance of winning this match. And the shot quality is calculated in real time by analyzing each shot's speed, spin, depth, width, and the impact it has on the opponent. This is a new way of analyzing matches brought to you by Tennis Insights. If you want to check out more, you can go check them out on Twitter. Link down in the description. Really fun matchup. Love this matchup. Great to see Tiafo in a big final for the first time in his career. Yannick Sinner's been here before, but I have to go with Sinner based on the experience. I just think Tiafo, maybe the moment might get to him. It's a great occasion, you know, at home, your biggest final ever. You're playing the world number one. What an occasion. But I just think it's going to be Yannick Sinner in maybe a close straight set. But let me know down in the comments below who's winning Cincy.